2009, I went to pilgrimage to Mecca with my mother. And it was there I, I deeply thought about that hate and revenge may bring temporary satisfaction, but they never bring peace or solution to any situation. They only bring more disaster and, and misery. I thought about my shooter, Mark Stroman, that he has been sitting on a death row waiting to die for last nine years. And uh, I realized that by killing him, we would simply lose a human life with the dealing with the root cause. But if he was given a chance, he might become a better person. And by killing him, all the pain and suffering I went through is not going to go away from my life. I looked at him as a human being. I looked at him as a victim as well. And I thought, yes, I forgave him, but that's not, that's not enough. My forgiveness is not doing anything good to him, to society. I have to step up. I need to do the right thing, save his life, and give him a chance to become a better human being. And I was inspired by my faith, my upbringing. And there is a verse in the Quran, chapter 5, uh, verses 32. It says, taking a human life is like taking the entire mankind. And saving a human life is like saving the entire mankind. So pilgrimage was the turning point for me, and I came back as a changed person. And I launched an international campaign to save my attacker's life. You mentioned uh, ending that cycle of hate. Um, you reached out to Stroman's children after he was executed. How right. have you stayed in their lives, and what was their response to you? Oh, you don't believe. Uh, I received an email from Mark's children uh, right after Mark was executed that they wanted to meet me. And I said, absolutely, I'll be more than happy to do that. And I met them, um, and uh, the daughter asked me, can I touch you? Because I want to feel that you are a human being. And I said, how about if I give you a hug? And that girl started crying right on the spot. She said that I never even believed that you would come even to meet us, now I'm giving you a hug. And she was crying. And uh, she said, I'm so sorry what my father did to you. And I told her, look, you lost your father, but you've got an uncle. If there's anything I can, I can do to help, to support, I'm always there.